There's lots of different skills that can be asked about functions. Here we've got two functions, f of x, which is 5x add 3, and g of x, which is 3, multiplied by x add 1. First of all, the value of f of 4. You'll see that the only difference between this and this is that the x has been replaced, this x has been replaced by the number 4. And that means all we need to do is replace this x by the number 4. Or, in another word, we just substitute 4 into this equation. And it's this one because we're looking at the f equation as shown in the question. So when I substitute 4 into there, we get 5 lots of 4, add 3. 5 lots of 4 is 20, add 3 makes 23. OK, part B. This one's asking me to solve. Where does f of x, that means we're looking at this one, equal 23? So for part B, I'm going to rewrite the left-hand equation, 5x add 3, and I'm just going to put equals 23 at the end, because I want to know where it equals 23. So I'll put my line down and just solve it like a normal equation by minusing 3 off both sides, to leave me with 5x on the left and 20 on the right and then dividing by 5 on both sides to give me a value of 4, x equals 4. And we actually did know that because in part A we just put 4 into that equation and got 23 out. And part B is just asked what number do you put in to get 23 out? Well we've worked out that it's 4. OK, question C. Find f minus 1 of x. And this fancy notation actually means it wants you to find out the inverse of the f of x equation. Now there's a couple of different methods you can use for this. Um, I'll do it over here. What a lot of people tend to do is to write it as y equals 5x add 3. So we've just changed the f of x to a y. And what we do now is we change the, the equation. We rearrange it until it's x equals. OK, so if I put my line down, to do that, I would have to minus that 3 off both sides, and that would give me y minus 3 equals 5x. Then I'd have to divide by 5, and that would give me y minus 3 divided by 5 equals x. OK, that's my rearranged equation. What we do then is we change the y to an x, so we change this y to an x, and we change this x to f minus 1 of x. So I'll do that now. So on the left I'll have x minus 3 over 5, and on the right I'll have f minus 1 of x. Now, it seems quite a complicated process, but just to reiterate, all we've done is we've put changed it to y equals, We've rearranged it to x equals, and then we've just changed our notation. OK, finally, state f of g of x. This means it wants you to start with your g of x equation and put it into f. It wants you to start with this equation, g of x, and then put it into f. So g of x, which we're going to start with, is given to me up here on the right. And what it wants me to do is to put this entire equation, this entire equation, into the F1. And we put it in where the X appears in the F1. OK, so I'm going to do part D up here. If I inserted what's in that purple circle up here into the F equation, I will be left with five lots of... Now, instead of writing X, I'm going to have to do a big bracket and put three lots of x add one, because that was in that's what was in that big circle. That's what g of x was, and then don't forget that you also had to add three on the end of f. So I better write that down as well. Add three. So you'll get marks for that, and then marks for neatening it up. Okay, so I'm just going to first of all multiply out the first bracket. 3 times x and 3 times 1, which will be 3x add 3. Still got to remember that add 3 at the end. Uh, now I'm going to multiply out this bracket again with the 5. That'll be 15x add 15. And again, I've still got that 3 on the end. 
then I can simplify my final answer to be 15x add 18. And that is the answer to this part G, uh, part D, sorry, f of G of x, 15x add 18. Again, so that last part, what we've done is we've started with the G equation and we've just put it into the F1. This is the G1 and we just substituted it into the F1. Once we've done that, we've simplified it step by step until we've got our answer. OK, so lots of skills here, some of which might be new, but all of which are definitely doable on an exam paper. Have a go at these and again, pause between each answer to have a go at the next part. OK, so here comes part A. Substitute 5 into the F equation. And that gives us a value of 11. Part B. Where does the F equation equals 19? Start by writing the F equation equals to 19 and then solve. And we're left with an answer of X equals 9. So 11 on the first one, 9 on the second one. Question C, find the inverse of f. So remember, start by writing it as y equals, rearrange so it's x equals, and then try and remember to swap your notation. OK, so here goes. So, so far, we've just rearranged it from y equals to x equals. Now I need to remember to swap the notation, swapping y for x and x for f minus 1 of x. OK, all done there on the right. OK, finally, part D. Remember, this is the one where we start with our G equation and we put it into our F equation. OK, so here goes. As before, I'm doing this in the top right-hand corner of the page. So the G equation, 3x minus 2, we need to put that into our F1. We need to swap that X for what the G equation was. OK, so let's write that out to begin with. So instead of 2x add 1, it's 2 3x minus 2 and then add 1. Let's simplify that now to give me a final answer of 6x minus 3.